my darling bees welcome back to my channel um today i'm actually feeling hungry which is really good i ordered uh, from hogs australian hogs breath cafe cp stock and i ordered um mushrooms they my kids my son calls them meatballs because they're bread crumbed and seasoned really well he absolutely loves them it's awesome Mm. It's so juicy. It's beautiful. Mm. Today I got Memphis barbecue wings. Now, I haven't tried Memphis sauce, so I'm going to give it a try. Really good, a bit cold. I got it through Uber Eats. Mm, the bag says Merry Christmas. Cute. Mm. And um, a little bit dry. So of course. where it's no sweet baby rays I'm trying to have the curtain so it's not all white I'm not I'm sort of kneeling at the moment you guys because I'm still from sitting on my cushion last night mmm I'm hoping Costco starts selling this again because getting these little containers does not last. It lasts like one rack of ribs. Not even a big rack. My kids and I love it. So good. Shout out Baby Ray's. Spons me. <laughs> Mm. We're looking up the phone. I just hope it doesn't fall again. Don't get full already, come on. Mm. You could try these guys. Crumbed mu button mushrooms. So good. I can totally see when my son mistakes them for meatballs. It is a vegetarian's meat. Boom. So good. Mm. Mm. Like a 
frilly to drum it. Mm. It doesn't. Mm. My makeup's gonna start running soon, you guys. It's so hot. I find it interesting how people like myself, there's people out there that love cartilage with chicken. We love cleaning the bones. And there's others that eat just to the cartilage. You know, it's, it's amazing how different humanity is and how versatile we all are. It um, fascinates me. Mmm. I'm trying to sit more or kneel more, anything to try and strengthen my back. I mean, for the first time in two years, I can feel my left leg. So that's amazing. I can feel my toes. My leg's not cold. Oh. <laughs> In my stomach. I'm like an animal. Oh. Last night's dinner, the prawns. Oh my gosh. I wanted to go to the shops today so bad. But I still can't drive. I'm going to wait a little bit longer till I can sit on my cushion and actually drive to the shops because I want to buy more prawn. I want to buy some prawns. Got to say, I'm impressed with this water bottle. Like, it is. I'm impressed. You know, I've tested a few products that 
rave about how good they are and thermos and stuff like that how hot they keep they keep stuff hot all right i burnt myself with coffee once on my breast but this really does keep the water really cold so good on them it's, it's great I'm trying to encourage myself to eat more. It's an inner struggle, you guys. Like, I'm, I'm in my head, I'm going, you can do it. You can do it. Eat, eat, eat. My stomach's going, you hear that? Enough. I've had enough. You're hurting me. <laughs> I'm not sure what they make this sauce out of, but oh my gosh. It's not, it's mayonnaise. It's not garlic. And they've put something in there. It's really nice. It's gonna have to do, you guys. Look, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for coming back. I tried to put some makeup on today so I had a look so raggedy <laughs> as I normally do. And, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I pierced my nose um, last week and my ear. I was in a lot of pain, so I was in you now and I got bored and decided to put holes in my head. <laughs> okay, one more. Reason why I do it is because sudden sharp pain shuts off your brain from telling yourself puts it into shock sort of thing protection mode and shuts off the um pain nervous system it's the way's body of protecting itself against the potential harm so um a little bit of pain can alleviate really bad pain for a little while so um when i was pregnant i used to get sterile water injections on my spine two at a time those are like 10 being stung by ten thousand wasps at once is the pain the intensity of the sting but i used to welcome it because it would disrupt my brain waves from signaling how much pain i was in on my back so yeah, I used to welcome that and um, didn't even flinch when I got them done, which was amazing because the nurses would say like, we're used to women screaming and trying to hit us <laughs> because the, when they're in labor, they're in so much pain. And, you know, I took 13 needles to epidural needles to my spine that bent. Um, apparently it looked like a dartboard. <laughs> um, so I can put up with a bit of pain. It's just um, when you have pain that's severe every day, it gets very draining you know, on your body, physically, mentally. And it takes a toll on you, so you've got to fight your inner demons and try to try and keep yourself positive. And when you're having bad days, you've got to think, you know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So as long as you keep reminding yourself that and... I've been surrounding myself with more positivity and things like that and I'm finding I'm getting a lot more enlightenment and um, I'm not stressed or high strung as I was probably a few months ago but um, it's not easy work guys like don't get me wrong when you're in chronic pain of course, when you're in chronic pain, 
and those of you with chronic spinal pains, uh, alpha myalgia, you know, all those sort of things that chronic invisible illnesses, it it's very hard because people can't see it, so they don't understand it, and it's um, how do I say it? Pause. Knock it off, puppy. Done the video here. You starting it last night? Yeah. What you doing? Doing? Come on. You want some chicken? Do you want some chicken? <laughs> anyway, sorry guys, I got distracted. My cat's looking at me like a puppy. Um, oh, I'm sweating. And guys, Australian weather. <sighs> All the curtains are closed and it's like a sauna. I've got to invest in an air conditioner so I can have my meetings out here. Um, Yes, yeah, so all I'm saying is, guys, if you suffer from chronic invisible pain, it's not the end. Like, keep seeking medical advice. Keep seeking. Don't take no for an answer because you know your body more than anybody else. Lord knows I had to fight to get someone to take a proper look at my back because I'd, I'd be, they'd say, oh, you've got a bulging disc, you've got this, and, and I knew there was more to it. And... Um, in the end, my nerves were shot. So um, it took a lot, of, a long time to get a proper diagnosis. And one, two, two big surgeries, and um, it's still not much better off. Um, but don't stop moving, whatever you do. Keep moving, keep striving, keep fighting the fight because. It is worth it, like whether your goal is to be a mom, a teacher, you know, whether you can't do a physical job. There's so many other opportunities out there and you've just got to get the right connections to help you look for what that thing is that, you know, that you want to achieve. For me, it's getting the word out there about heterotopic ossification in the hopes that I could be a future guinea pig for a neurosurgeon who wants to study the disease and um, hopefully help future people from, you know, being able to be treated, which there isn't a treatment right now or, um, or a cure. So um, if I can help towards that, that to me, that's, it's worth it because, you know, what if my son gets it? What if my daughter gets it? in years to come you know i don't want them to be in the amount of pain i have to put up with i'd like to hope that i can contribute to the future where they can find a cure or they can reduce the bone growths so that you know if anyone else gets it on the spine that they'll be able to sit and not you know right now i'm leaning one side of my body so i don't put any weight on the middle so the bone doesn't get pushed over my spinal cord so, um, yeah, with that, I'm going to get off because I am sweating so bad. <sighs> Boob sweat. Um, so, as always, guys, look after one another, take care of one another, be kind to one another, and look after your health. Um, until next time, peace and cheers. Okay, bye. Oh, before I go, I keep forgetting to say, um, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm really trying to get my hours up and my um, subscribers, so hopefully I can start earning some income. And um, so, yeah, if you're watching this and you feel like being generous, please subscribe. Um, Push the notifications, like, share with any anyone on your social media. You know, the more shares, the more hopefully publicity I'll get. And um, hopefully it'll encourage other Australians to do a mukbang so I can ha have someone to collaborate with. So, all right. Love you guys.
Bye.